Greetings, and welcome back to Don't Starve. So we're going to begin our journey back to the uh, place where we're going to set up our base after we hunt us a uh, creature for some extra meat. I'm just waiting for this campfire. There we go. Now I got more ashes. And we're going to go see if this suspicious dirt pile is still over here. If it is, we're going to track it down. And it appears to have vanished. So I'm pretty sure it was right here, near that tree, on the path. So, looks like we missed our window for that suspicious dirt pile, but there will be more. So let's just head on back uh, and get ready to set up our camp. Uh, I've got enough beech nuts that I can um, set up an area to burn so that I get uh, some charcoal a little bit earlier. And then we're going to go out and uh, make sure we've got... Well, my first priority is actually going to be getting rid of the spiders near uh, where I'm setting up my camp. That should give me enough silk, I think, to uh, make the bir uh, bird cage. Or the bird trap. The bird trap. You don't need silk for the bird cage. Yeah, since it's daylight and the days are fairly long, I'm going to be collecting resources on the way back. Uh, especially grass. I'm fairly low on grass. And I keep moving before I'm ready to. Just a little bit twitchy still. Let's lay out some berries and see if we can't get a gobbler. Okay. Let's try another one. There. I managed to get in, but it cost me my berries. Yep. Uh, I started out a little too far from him, but I do have some meat to eat for tonight. Meat does a little bit more healing than most of the other foods, I believe. Nope. Okay. No gobbler. Now, frogs are pretty easy to actually fight. But if you uh, kill too many of them in rapid succession, it's going to increase your naughtiness. Getting things to, uh, th getting them caught in traps does not. Um, catching rabbits in traps, you still have to murder them or let them starve to death. And if you uh, just stick them in a container or your inventory and let them starve to death, it won't affect your naughtiness either. Let's see if we can get one more gobbler. Take that as a no. All right. Uh, now we have plenty of access to grass here. I'll probably end up moving some of these, which means I'll need to take a trip down to the beefalo to grab some manure to refertilize them. All right, so the first thing I want to do is take care of the spiders here. Let's actually switch over to our log suit. Come along. Oh, and it appears I cannot carry any more here, but is this thing emptied out? Here's so. Let's go ahead and take it out before more respawn. Alright, so we need to set up our camp. And actually, right about here is not a bad spot. So let's, uh, let's drop some stuff. And set up our fire pit. 
Let's see, where do I actually want it? I guess on this side right here, say right about there. Alright, now I need a chest. So I need three logs. Or three boards. So let's swap those out to give us access to make the structure. Why is it still locked? Oh yes, I need to place some other things first. Duh. Because I actually need the alchemy engine set up to be able... I'm going to put it close to the road. To be able to actually prototype a chest. And we'll actually put the chest to the south here, close to the campfire. And now I can go around and gather all my stuff up to store. Uh, let's stash the ashes. The niter. And let's go ahead and stash these for now, just so I can carry more. So I can get my other stuff back. Oh, and I need to make it back within the firelight quickly. There we go. Do a little bit more prototyping tonight. Uh, let's see, I need a bird cage. I think that's actually under structures, but I also need to check for the uh, bird trap. I need two more silk for that. So under structures, we have a bird cage I need to make. I need one more seed and the paper, of course. That's right. I need to uh, refine the papyrus. Uh, I need to get seeds, so I have them in my chest, I believe. Uh, light fire's going down. I'll throw some sticks on here. I need my light. Let's actually get the ashes out and make a pult uh, or a healing salve. Now we'll put the rest of the ashes back up. And I need the seeds, the drumsticks. We're going to cook them up and eat both of them. That did some pretty good. Uh, let's go ahead and cook up the monster meat and stash it. Now I should be able to make the bird cage, which is under structures. There we go. And we're going to place it where? Let's place it there. Now let's stash a few more things. The silk. Um, the spare rope. Move my tools around a little bit. Put my spare torches in the chest just to get them out of my inventory. All right. Anything else I want to prototype before we start heading off? Um, My sanity is pretty good, so I'm not going to be prototyping things just to prototype at this point. Alright, so I need two more spider silk, so we actually got to hunt down some spiders. And actually, I need to move some things around. Oh, I do need to make a few regular traps. And set them up here so that I will have food when I get back. There's one to set it up on. That's too far away. My 
want it close to the hole. There. All right. We're going to take a small trip down here to collect some other things. I don't have a lot of free inventory yet. I can always make another chest, but I... Oh, I need to plant uh, some of the uh, beech nuts so that I have a small grove I can burn up. That's what I need to do. Oh, we already got a rabbit. Now, I'm just going to leave it in the chest until it dies. I really don't want to... Uh, I'm not starving enough that I need to uh, eat it right... Or kill it and eat it right now. Let's add some people there. So we can cook up some beech nuts. Since I am still hungry. I think about six should do. Uh, I could get two more. All right, let's plant a few of these down here, uh, kind of off by themselves if we can. Nine should be enough. And it's already getting close to dusk, so I didn't get too awfully far during the night. But I do have torches that I have with me, so I can go through. Night's only about 90 seconds. I can travel during the night. Um, go back down here to where some spiders are, because I'm going to need... Uh, actually... Let us explore the wormhole. Let's see, I need two boards. Uh, I don't have enough wood for it. Oh! I can't see which way it's going. Over this way. So we will track down this creature during the night. I do have torches to continue the hunt if necessary. The good thing about tracking down creatures like this is it gives you a little bit of exploration while you're doing it. Huh. There it is. Down this way. south now. Turned back this way. There it is. Almost to it. I'll take that. I did want to come down here and get some manure anyway. Alright, it's really close. There it is. So I can slowly push it toward a... Uh, an area. During the night, let's see, where is the nearest coast? Probably a different direction. Alright, so yeah. Um, there you are. 
I can actually get up close enough to it to uh, attack it. So let's, uh, do I have enough materials to make a campfire? I do. Let's make a campfire. Alright, I actually need the torch out. Where is it? Did it go in my backpack? It went in my backpack. Okay, another source of charcoal. I think we just burned down the entire forest. Oh crap, there goes my backpack! Well, poo. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Uh, well, we got charcoal, but I need to make a new backpack. Let's gather all of my crap back. And he's not dead from all that fire. All he succeeded in doing was setting fire to everything. I feel like I could have prevented that. Yes, you could have. Alright, we need to push it to an edge. That's not working. Getting this thing off to an edge is not going to be easy at, at this current... Oh, I think I got it. There we go. Yeah, now that was a bit of a bumble, but it still worked out. Let's see if we can't get some charcoal out of this. We burned down quite a big section of the forest. So charcoal should not be a problem this time around. Let me go get these ashes before they fade. And actually, I should probably go ahead and use the healing salve I've got. There we go. Yeah, we're definitely going to have a good supply of charcoal. Uh, I, I don't know what I was thinking, attacking with the torch. Uh, I should have known it would set it on fire. And uh, ended up losing my backpack. Uh, well. It was easily replaceable, and I didn't have anything especially flammable in it that I lost as well. But as I said, now, at least because of this, uh, charcoal won't be a problem, so those trees I planted, I can actually chop down for wood. I could replant this section of the forest since I got some pine cones out of this. Let's see, how much manure do I have? Only three? probably gather more on the way back. I still haven't gotten the extra uh, spider silk I need to make the bird trap and be able to put a bird in my cage. I spent most of the entire day trying to tra uh, to uh, corner that coelophant. And now clearing out the mess I made by setting it on fire. Yeah, it burned out most of the woods up through here. I've got food to eat when I get back. I can cook up my qualified trunk and uh, all of this meat. And 
and that is definitely a supply of charcoal that'll last us. All right. I should make it back to my camp before actual night falls. I am running low on logs. Um, so I'll probably use cut grass or sticks to uh, start the fire. There are plenty of both around my camp. I do need to collect six rabbits, so I am going to need more traps uh, so that I can make the Prestahatidator. But I also, won't, before I worry about that, I am going to need uh, spider silk to make the uh, original top hat. Yeah, we're going to be using sticks and grass as fuel for a bit because they're a little bit more abundant. It's going to take probably another day for those trees to grow to the size that I want them to cut them down. And I will be running a risk of running into a tree guardian by that time, I believe. Alright, move that. Alright, so now that we have charcoal, well first let's get a fire started here. Seven sticks should last us a good while. Alright, so, um, I believe it's under food. Drying racks take rope. Crock pots take stone. And the ice box takes gears. Well, there's stone right here. Um, I need to store some more stuff first. Let's store that rabbit. Oh, let's cook up a, a coalifant trunk and eat that. And cook up all this food. It'll be a full moon soon, and as a matter of fact, hound attacks should be happening shortly. Alright. Uh, I don't have enough stone for the cut stone, but let's uh, use our pickaxe over here. And let's get our shovel to get some of this other stuff out of the camp area. Alright, now, I should have enough stone. I can only make one cut stone, and I needed three, I believe, for the uh, crock pot. Yeah, so I'm going to need a lot more stone. Uh, I could use some more sticks as well so that I can make some drying racks and uh, of course grass to make uh, rope. How much rope do I have? I have one unit of rope. So let us stash the charcoal for now. I need more rope, so I'm going to need to collect more grass and sticks. And I will probably edit this part out. So I will see you all shortly, unless a hound attack happens. So we have a full moon tonight. As you can see, I've, I've built up some drying racks. I also have one of the three crock pots I wanted made. Uh, let's see. It's kind of hard to see where it's eligible for with the moon interfering. I'm going to put one there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to need more grass and twigs. And since it's a full moon, I can actually wander around. And I still need more stone as well. And as you see, I have an ornate pickaxe. Um, where is Glomer's statue? 
I'm pretty sure I passed it at some point. Up there. Uh, I'm not going to make it tonight, but I need to head that way for tomorrow night, because the full moon usually lasts a couple of nights. Once I gather a few more uh, materials and get my food set up, I should be good. Let's actually take the time to chop down this tree. And since I get two beech nuts out of or out of each of these, I'll replant them as I uh, chop them down. Okay, we have a hound attack incoming. I just heard that. My character just said, did you hear that? It's the middle of the day. Um, I should be able to handle the first hound attack on my own. So I'm going to go ahead and get my spear out. And be ready to switch over to my armor when I see the hound. Finding plenty of grass, but not much in the way of twigs. Alright, they're getting closer. Need more gold as well, actually. Just gotta be ready. They should be here shortly. I'll just go ahead and get get ready. I believe you only get two swings uh, in between when a hound tries to bite you. I can handle a few mistakes while I'm learning, though. There he is. Took care of those hounds fairly well. Oh, let me get my backpack back. That may help with my inventory issues. So, we handled the first hound attack on our own just fine. Um, I'm still making my way up toward Glomer's statue uh, while collecting uh, materials. Let's actually get us some more stone and gold at one shot. starting to get a little wet, but I can handle that. Uh, I'll be able to dry off fairly well when I get back to camp. I do have enough. I could go ahead and make a straw hat just to cut down on some of it. I don't believe I have room for the niter. Um, let's eat some cooked meat. Yeah, I don't have room for the niter right now uh, to collect these stones. When something breaks, I will. Or if I eat the last bit of food. Alright, how far am I from Glomer's statue? It's just up the road this way. Gold. Oh, nope, I'm being chased. Alright, let's actually replant one of these.
that also frees up a slot. Ooh, another birch nut. And go back down and, and dig up another stump. There's Glomer's statue. And it's about to be another full moon. bushes. Alright, Glomer, come with me. Alright, so we now have Glomer. I still haven't found um, Chester anywhere. I don't think I've passed close enough on the map to even unlock his location. I believe it shows where his wand is when you get close enough to it. Oh well. Alright, so it's uh, day 11. Uh, we'll go ahead and call this an episode. I'll limit episodes to about five days, depending on how much how many edits I need to do. And uh, thank you all for watching. And we'll see you next time.